Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes. So we are gonna be going to Minmus this episode. I really hope you guys are liking the career. I was pretty much blown away the last episode when I saw how much science we have actually collected since uh well on that one mission specifically. It was just overall that was had to be insane to me. To me, that was just absolutely insane. The amount of science that was collected just off of one mission. It was 230-ish something along those lines. I'm not 100% certain. And we are just pushing right through the atmosphere. This is not good. There we go. Just throttle up a little bit. I will lose some speed. I can... We can lose a little bit it's not gonna be that big of a deal so yeah the, that was just absolutely amazing and and we unlocked the struts uh, there was one of somebody I forgot who it was in the comments or like you passed up the opportunity of struts what's wrong with you and I was like hey I don't know what I was thinking but no I, I ended up unlocking struts we got all that good stuff now and, uh, you know, you know, even at that time, I mean, in the very beginnings of this career mode and uh, all the progress we've made so far, really, uh, struts just aren't needed. I mean, in the very beginning of the game, it's just, there's really not enough stuff to actually need the struts or use the struts in any kind of way. I mean, you really can't make use of them if you really have no application for them so that that is kind of the my stance on that whole thing i i the, all i gotta say is just that you know it the most of the rockets were so small scale that you really didn't need struts to just kind of glue everything together but it yeah i know it's space duct tape or space glue whoever you know i i have been saying that ever since the beginning because basically 90 percent of my launches rely on the fact that if there was no struts in this game, I pretty much wouldn't be able to get it to space. So, and I think a lot of people are like that as well. So, let's see. All right, we do not have good control. I really can't wait to unlock the SAS units. We just lost our stage. There we go. Get rid of that. And uh, we'll power this thing up here in a second. Just um, making sure that everything's okay. Yeah, everything's good. So yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys are all playing the career mode and all that other good stuff, but um, it's definitely interesting to say, I mean, out, out of anything, it's very interesting to play because you end up learning a little bit on how to play without using the best parts in the game. So that is, and trying to make things look good, you know, I always say form over function and all that other good stuff. But uh, it's really hard to really build a nice looking spacecraft with basically no real modules or anything. Just no, no pieces whatsoever. You've got to work with whatever you got and that's about it. So it, it is somewhat challenging, but I mean, it, not that bad. There we go. Perfect. What's our... Yeah, that, that's good. 95, 81... So let's see if we can get to Minmus. I am not 100%. Uh, I, I don't have full confidence that we'll be able to make it there. But I, I don't think the burn is going to be that long. And plus we're not doing a return trip. So it's not... I, I still don't feel confident enough in sending uh, basically anybody... Uh, any Kerbal outside of this system or and any kind of landing trip or anything like that because it's just not there's just not enough there's no landing I, I only have like basically one set of landing legs no ladders uh, you know there really isn't enough in a way or in the way of support systems to where we could just make it there and I would feel very confident on being able to get them back as well and uh, we have no docking ports as well, which is, I think, the next thing I'm going to unlock because of that. Let's see what this is at. 
Perfect. That That's beautiful. Beautiful things. So where is Minmus? There we go. It's right... Right meow. So we set this up here, I think, should be good. We'll just have to do one orbit around. Yeah, we gotta... Wait, is that... Is that good? I surprise myself sometimes. Yeah, that, that's, that's not bad at all. I think I'll go with that. 148 off. I don't want to be too close, so... Just line this up, and uh, we'll have a burn here in a second. Oh, I wish I could speed this up. I wish I could speed up this whole orbit thing, but yeah. Now, this is kind of basically the same exact lander, if you want to call it that, um, that I sent to the moon. I, I've been recycling a lot of the stuff I've been building because of the fact that some of the designs work very well and other ones don't. We don't have certain things unlocked, which, you know, I've been complaining about parts ever since I started doing this, but, you know, we don't have a lot of things unlocked, so... Because of that, I kind of stick with a lot of the same designs because they work very well. So let's see. All right, we got a, a line up real quick. And start our burn here. Perfect. Yeah, I think we should have more than enough fuel to get there, to be honest. You know, I, I ended up stacking up a lot of these smaller tanks because we don't have any very large engines at the moment. So, uh or any large fuel tanks I should say so that worked very well it, it's it's helping to compact down the size of our rockets and that is the good thing because you can pack in the more you can pack in the better it will be and that is what she said all right slow this down let's see what do we got Bring this up Kind of rock on the keyboard here. You know what? I'll, I'll go with that. 43 is not bad at all. So yeah, making it to Minmus. And I mean, I, I'm pretty sure people have made it to Minmus like basically at the beginning of the game. But uh, I think this is amazing. This is just absolutely awesome. I'm really hoping we can land on in some in one of those craters or something like that. Um, how? close is that all right that's not bad at all i sometimes i just don't trust what the uh when you initially set up the burn i don't really trust that sometimes because of the fact that it can be wrong so that that is where i sit on that and that's what she said all right let's just slow this thing it down come on That is amazing. And there's our lake bed too, which I think on our we don't even have to do a full orbit around to get there. So let's all right, well, I mean we're gonna have to do a little bit, but it's not gonna be that bad. Perfect. So let's just bring this thing down. Um I'm gonna do some experiments while we're out here. That should be give give us more science. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, and we're back guys. Uh, the one thing I was questioning, and I don't really know much about the satellites and all that stuff, but the one thing I was really, I really don't know much about is um, if you have, if you have a better antenna, do you get more science out of each experiment do, that you do? And I'm not really 100% certain on that one because of the, I, I just, I'm not, I'm not that good with uh, 
some of the stuff in this game I really don't, um, you know, basically know. I'll, I, certain things I'll read up on, but, I mean, I... I'm, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to this whole science thing. Oh, God. Kill that there. Uh, we gotta go forward, and I think we're gonna go down a little bit, too. We gotta go a little bit this way. So, yeah, I'm a little bit of a noob when it comes to this whole science thing now, so... You guys can give me a little bit of a break, but I think if you add a better dish, you'll it, you'll uh, end up getting more science or something like that, but or at least collecting more science from your experiments, because it says stuff like only 20% of the the scientific value I'm actually getting, so I'm just wondering if that means that basically I'm, I'm losing out on a lot because of uh, not having a very, not having like a satellite dish or, you know, something like that to where I can collect 100% of the value of the experiments I'm doing. Let's see, I'm just gonna knock that over perfect everything's looking amazing so let's see I'll do some science on the way down we got a full battery the high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow it looks like it'd be fun to paint yeah that would be amazing oh let's see what the mystery goo is doing the goo feels right at home here uh, yeah Jesus why are my are my experiments going through? Yeah, I guess I'm just not paying attention. Just so slow down a little bit. Fairly close to the surface, but I know here, um, once the surface says zero, you're at zero basically. So I'm not gonna dump this last stage until we get very very close. I'll get the legs deployed looking amazing so we'll, we'll do a little bit of science on the way down we I'm feeling pretty good about this mission though I'm thinking we are going to collect a very very good amount of science I could have put a smaller engine on here too but ah, whatever One thing I'm going to do, though, after this, is I'm thinking I'm going to redesign this probe and put bigger, like a bigger satellite dish or something like that on here so we can collect science a little bit better. Because I think we are not getting the full value for our experiments. Because I think that 20 per... Yeah, I think we're only getting 20% of 63, so that kind of sucks so we definitely need to be getting more than that otherwise these missions are just worthless there we go let's see I'll just kind of get rid of this off to the side like that and uh, I think we should be okay I just want to get separate ourselves a little bit from that stage. That looks so cool on the shadow there too. I'm so glad that they ended up changing the uh, shadows in this game. All right, all right. Now the long, long, long wait. And I think we're gonna have a landing here soon. Just just a guess, that's all I gotta say. And that looks awesome. Even though um, that's slightly terrifying. Alright, slow down. Whoa, oh no, no, we're going back up. Not good. Perfect. 
Now it's time to do some real science. Now that we're on... While the material samples were processed, um, you begin to turn your thoughts towards how much Minmus looks like. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And have... Oh my god. Let's, let's see what the, the goo has to say. You observe the goo. Wow, that, that's very descriptive. Very, very descriptive. So one thing I'm going to do uh, after this is I think I'm going to start launching from different areas, or landing on different areas. And we're still going to be landing on the moon and landing on Minmus here and there. But I want to work our way up to where we have basically enough science and uh, oh, well enough parts unlocked to where we can start sending manned missions and maybe st start on a base or a space station or something like that that would be amazing so anyways guys uh we got our probe down a min miss everything's looking pretty freaking awesome um uh, if you guys want to let me know about what i was talking about with the science in the comments that would be amazing and uh yeah so if you guys like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah. I will see you next time. Hey, what am I kidding? Am I gonna just end the episode without showing you guys how much science we got? Yeah, let, let's go. Let's just check this out. So, let's go back to our space center. And, uh, let's see what we got here. Just off this one single mission... 436 science, my god. We're going to have everything unlocked here in like two seconds. So let's see what we can get. What is this? I can't even click it. Alright, well this will give us basically all the lander parts. I think I'm going to go for docking ports, guys. Um, that will basically unlock everything that I need. What is all this? Advanced metal works? Oh, those are smaller... What is this? I, I love it when I say, what is this? Like, I've never even seen these parts before. Uh, let's see. All right. This will give us an SAS unit in a smaller core. I think I will go for... Let's see. This is going to... Will we still be able to unlock the bigger engines? Hmm. 160 and that's 190 that's two yeah yeah we'll be able to do that I think I'm gonna go with this here that way we'll be able to build a lander and put docking ports on it too and we'll have RCS tanks so I'll get that and I think we will go for our next science I could go for this but I don't think we should get that just yet because we really need to get to the moon and uh, get someone on the surface and collect some stuff so I think that will that will work yeah so in this episode I guess we unlocked our we got a thermometer and and our ladder and we also got some docking ports and all the bigger command modules and stuff like that so we'll be looking at a moon mission here very soon um, and a return so anyways guys once again if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to all you new people welcome and uh... yeah i will see you next time